I'm so proud to take over the, the tour leader's job from my old mate Arthur Beetson. And look, I've really got some big shoes to fill, but I can tell you something, I'll do Arthur proud and, and I'll do a damn good job, I promise you. The rugby league experience is number one because of only one reason, because it's so passionate about the greatest game of all, and that's rugby league. The rugby league experience over the years has given thousands of, of, of Aussie supporters, Pommies, Kiwis, the Frenchmen. Look, it's given them so much delight and so much great experiences and in memories. It's been fantastic. The Australian jersey, mate, I'd die for the green and gold, I'm telling you. And every time I, I put the jersey on, mate, I, I grow 10 foot tall, I'm telling you. But the thing is, on this tour in 2013, we're all going to go along there with our scarves and our beanies and our jerseys and we'll be so proud when we bring that World Cup back to Australia. The Rugby League experience has four tours that will suit everybody's budget. We're going to visit some great places, you know. We'll go to, we'll go to Wales and we'll go to Cardiff, you know. And Cardiff, uh, I, I, I've been there once. It's, uh, it's, it's just a picturesque place, a good place. But then again, we go to another part of, the, of England there, and that's the Lakes District. Picturesque, scenic, beautiful. Good joint in the lakes, you know. Whether we see the Loch Ness Monster there or not, I don't know. But we we'll, just go and see. We might find him there. York, what a wonderful place, York. I've been to York, and, that, and that's where my old mate played there too, Arthur Beach, and he did play for York. Manchester, what a great place. At Manchester in 1972, I met Georgie Best at the... Uh, the Grapes um, Disco that night and so Manchester is, is a great place and, and also the home of Manchester United, the Red Devils or something like that they call them. Ireland, I don't know much of, Dublin, Lim Limerick, you know those places but look I'm really looking forward to go over there. Leeds, what about Leeds, we'll be staying there. Leeds, look I went over there in 73, fantastic and that's in Leeds at the Oval there, you've got Rugby League on one side and they play the cricket tests on the other side. Absolutely wonderful, you know, and, I, and we're going to have a, we'll have a meal there, things like that in, in Leeds, mate, and I've got the best and fairest there in um, the 1973 Kangaroo Tour. And uh, I've got the best and fairest uh, when we play there. Fantastic. Love Leeds. London. Oh, what a place, London. Actually, in 1973, I played at London in the first test. And actually, in front of 200, oh sorry, I'm, I'm exaggerating, in front of 130,000 uh, Pommy Mad supporters, and we got beaten that day. But look, I'll never forget uh, in London one time there, we were there actually that year, and Arthur Beach and Paulie Say came up to me and Bobby Fulton, they said, well, where can we go um, on this Saturday afternoon, you know, to have a bit of fun? And we said, listen, where you should go is down to Piccadilly Circus. And we said, when you go down there, you'll see the tigers and the lions, elephants, monkeys. Mate, you'll have a wonderful time at Piccadilly Circus. So away they went down to Piccadilly Circus, but they come back and they, they were pretty dirty because, of course, there was no lions and tigers or that down in Piccadilly Circus. So, mate, look, but truly go to the changing of the guards, um, wherever you want to go, wonderful place, London. Part of this experience is you will have the choice of three options. The first choice, Istanbul, Gallipoli. Wow, what about going to Gallipoli? I'm sure the tears are going to flow there when, when people think of, of what our diggers went through there. And actually, that, that's the spot where I will be going personally. And, and what about Paris and the Somme? Another one, Paris, go up the Eiffel Tower. How good's that? And the Somme, again, bringing back memories of the First World War, of our diggers and, and the pommies in the trenches. You know, and, and then what about New York, New York, beautiful, you know, that's our third option, mate, um, a lot of fun. The Rugby League experience is famous for its exclusive experiences. One of these is a day with Mike Stevenson looking into the history of Rugby League in the United Kingdom. Also, we will take a look into the history of sport in England with visits to Lords and Wimbledon. For those who don't know, the Rugby League experience is a foundation sponsor of the Men of League. There will be two big nights where we will have a ball mixing with UK fans and league legends whilst raising money for the Men of League. After this tour, you're gonna to say to yourself, wow, what a great time I've had. I've seen, well, I've seen the World Cup number one. I've experienced all, all the places through England. 
um, Ireland, Wales. I've been to the Somme, I've been to Gallipoli. New York, fantastic. Honestly, it's, it's going to be a great experience. And what about rugby league? You'll just get to love rugby league more and more. You, you'll get to even meet some of the players on the trip. Truly, this is going to be one of the greatest experiences of your life. And, uh, and I tell you what, I'm looking forward to it. And I'm sure I've been over there. I'm feeling I've had five tours to England and France. Now, I can't wait to get away on this fantastic tour.